One day, there was a sudden pain. She slowly opened her eyes. The wind blew, and seemingly magical dust infused her surroundings. Unbeknownst to her, this surely benign scatter would flourish in her presence. This wonderlust pleasantly coexisted with Mother, progressively morphing into a microorganism, which invigorated her. She blossomed along with her fledglings. Over time, though, this organism transformed exponentially until its symbiosis with Mother convoluted antagonistically. The ever-developing organism began to consume and even deform my mother's envious appearance. It troubled her so. It changed her and the way she behaved. The magical dust that once nourished mother had matured to become her babe. With splotches breaking out all over her body, she became rash caused her to act out, out of character. She coughed and cried progressively, more and more until these fits became uncontrollable. It seemed unstoppable and would not subside. She got worse and worse until she had created a hell on earth for the rest of us. Our home became a virtual windstorm as though this would rid her of her formerly symbiotic and nourishing organism, which had become narcissistic and pernicious. My brothers and sisters and I couldn't take it anymore, and we had nowhere to flee. Then one day, it was peaceful. But although she had finally eliminated the virus with which she could no longer coexist, her mood appeared curiously melancholic. I wanted to ask her why, but I couldn't. It's been a while now, and over time, Mother regained her health and elegance. But we never saw her again. I wish we had taken to heart all that she had tried to tell us before she fell ill. I'm sure she had so much more to teach my siblings and me, but our opportunity has passed. And so, with the brief relationship between our mother 